and I'm going to give you a thing on Witcher. Yes. So this is big, uh, basically for beginners, and if you're in market or if you're this, you'll watch this because this will be very boring. And uh, so I'm going to tell you how to play the major scale. This is only for beginners, so uh, uh, it gets no advanced touch and uh, you watch this video. So there it is. Okay, so basically what we have here is we I will play the D major scale. So basically I want to give you some knowledge on to what the scales are. D major scale is basically, uh, what is a major scale? Scales are basically what we call, uh, basically there is a combination of notes that basically synchronize. So like this is D major. Because um, people usually, they just know how to play the guitar. They don't know the theory behind what chords are, what, uh, uh, what scales are. So basically, uh, the, uh, the chords are basically a combination of notes that synchronize. And scales is basically like uh, you get a ruler, like you've got a scale. This is a kind of like gap between notes so that they create a kind of a melody when they're being played. Like minor scales or major scales or double harmonic minor scales. Scale. Basically, what I'm going to talk about is major scale. I'll teach you how to play the major scale. So here it is. So can you it? Basically, you must have some knowledge on semitones and tones. Basically, the semitone is the shortest gap between two consecutive notes. For example, D and E flat. The gap between these notes is known as semitone, and a tone is basically what you say a uh, two semitone gap, like D and E. Now these are separated; these notes are separated by a tone. Okay, so what I'm going to teach you is the D major scale. This is only for beginners. Again, if you are an advanced guitarist, do not watch this video. Here it is. First of all, I will play the D note on the third string, seventh fret. Third string, seventh fret. In other words, G string, seventh fret. It'll be like this. Now on same string, third string, I will play an E note on ninth fret. Okay. Then I will switch over to the next string which is the second string and seventh fret. This is basically, um, let me move this hold on a second. D, E, F sharp, yeah. This is F sharp. So here it is, D, E, F sharp. Okay, so F sharp, this F sharp, I'm playing on the second string and seventh fret. Then I'm gonna move on to my eighth fret creating a G, and the same string, I'm not switching between strings here, just switching like this, so we're here. Okay, so now I'm going to play it on the 10th fret, the same second, second string, 10th uh, fret, creating this A note. Then I'm going to switch over to the first string, and I'll play the 7th fret, 9th fret, 10th fret. So we get the melody. So this is, is basically the D major scale. And um, if you're going on the bass notes, it's quite simple. Now you've got all the notes. D, E, F sharp, G, A. Then you've got a B. You've got a C sharp and then G. D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, G. Okay. 
So basically, if you want to go on the bass strings, so what you do is you play uh, the D on the fifth fret and fifth, uh, sorry, on the fifth string, fifth fret. So fifth string, fifth fret. So the project. Okay. So fifth string, fifth fret. Um, and then you can play, uh, hold on a second here. Yeah. Fifth string, fifth fret. Fifth string, seventh fret. Fourth string, fourth fret. Fourth string, fifth fret. Fourth string, seventh fret. Third string, fourth fret. Uh, third string, sixth fret. And third string, seventh fret. So it's basically like this. Scales is basically, basically like a measure that you have to notes so that they create, create a melody. The property of these notes are so that they synchronize basically, like if I want to play this. See there's synchronization between the notes. Basically, that was D major. If you want to play another, any other scale, any other scale, like, uh, for example, you want to play the major scale in the, uh, let's say, C, you want to play the major scale in C, it's just the same, it's the same finger and pattern, and the pattern is the same for almost all major scales. This is, or C. C major. You just see that I just shifted it uh, two frets lower for C major. B major. That's it. So that's the skills. Thank you.